hey hello guys welcome to this video so in this video i'm going to uh, implement jw token okay we are going to create the J json web token in this video so in the last video we saw how to add the password and store that to the database okay so for uh, creating token i'm not going to write code in the controllers function so we know the business logics we will write that in the controllers but i want to keep this controller function uh, neat and clean right and uh, also we have something called uh, methods and statics in mongoose i want to explain you that so if you go to methods and statics you can see they have given some examples okay methods can only work on the instance of the model not directly on the model okay and it does not have direct control over the model so if you take the example here they have defined this model okay and return a method here okay and to access this method okay uh, we have to have an instance okay and with the help of that instance we can call the model right sorry method okay but if you take statics right so you can see they are directly accessing the statics method with the help of the model itself so animal is a model here so you can see here yeah animal is a model name so statics is something that can work directly on the model itself and it has direct control over the model right so they are nothing but a function okay so it is similar to writing a function but it has uh, the similarities so uh, here we are creating a json web token okay since the json web token does not uh, have any relationship with this model because we don't have any column called token okay so we are going to write a methods here not statics right so as i said earlier json web token is not a part of this model so it is not going to be a uh, static right uh, so i'm going to create a model here below this pre save okay so before going to this function i want to show you uh, something called jwt.io this is the official website of javascript web token okay so if you go to jw. jwt.io so this is a valid jwt token if you take this token uh there are three parts right you can clearly see the color coding here right the red part tells the algorithm and the token type used so the type is jwt and the algorithm used okay so the algorithm uses hs256 right so we cannot do anything with this algorithm it is defined by jwt itself okay and the purple part here is for the data that we send as a payload along with the token so if you take here the name is going to be the data you can see the username john do okay and uh, sub is subject right and uh, iat is nothing but uh, issued at field issued at field so you can easily understand this is a time stamp okay so if i keep over on this time stamp you can see the date that was created it was created on jan 18 2018 7 gmt okay so it is a time stamp and the last part this blue uh, part is the verify signature part it is a combination of what this header this payload and uh, uh, the jwt secret 256 bit secret okay so this jwt secret code i'll be explaining the later part of this video okay uh uh so when i implement i'll show you right so i think we can straight away go for the implementation so the json web token github uh page right so to install jwt json web token we have to install this package so i'm going to uh, the terminal right so as we always install the package we are going to install it json web token okay so when i click on enter this is going to install this json web token package right so once it get installed we are going to what we are going to 
create a token like this so jwt dot sign this is going to be the data that we are going to send so i showed you here right the uh, name is john do okay so here we are going to have our uh, data token data right so this is the jwt secret code that i mentioned as a blue part in this jwt token right so this token will be created by us it is user defined it can be of anything right so i think it would have got installed here and go to package.json right so when we see the package.json we see json web token yeah it got installed okay so guys uh, so before we implement i want you guys to understand why do we need a token okay so why do we create a token here and why do we need it right that is a question here so when the user registers and tries to access some of the private routes from the application right so it is always known to everyone that not all the routes that we create here it is exposed to all the users right so when i go to the controllers uh we have to hide some of the routes specific to some users right so based on the user roles and permissions we are not going to expose some routes to some of the users okay so we need the user details to confirm only that specific user is accessing the routes okay so for this we need the user's information the front end and this cannot be sent directly to the front end application as the front end application is prone for cyber attacks which means the hackers can easily steal the user information from the front end okay because it is a browser uh as we all know we cannot uh, say that browser is 100% safe and secure all the times okay so to hide the user's information we are sending the user details packed with other information as a token as i showed you here okay so the user detail is packed here with the other details so that only the application can read and understand it okay and the hackers cannot even uh, what steal it because this jwt secret is not exposed to the hackers and it is maintained in the code right it is maintained in the memory and it cannot be read from the server i think it made sense for you so we'll see deeply when we implement the private routes in the later stage okay so let's stop the theory and i think we can implement jwt now perfect so i think we have already installed it i will run the application npm start okay so uh we have installed the jwt package we just need to uh, import that to our application i'll say jwt require json web token okay so it has been added imported to our model right so what i'm going to do here is i'm going to say user schema dot i have already explained you i'm going to create a methods get jwt token okay and this is going to be a function as i already told you methods are nothing but a function but it can have it does not have direct control over the model and it can only act on the instance of the model okay i'm going to show that now so i'm going to create jwt.sign so the user information is going to be id this this dot underscore id and user okay we'll send name is equal to this dot username okay this dot username so you can see this underscore id will be created by the mongodb so we don't have control over this but this username as we already defined in the model here okay so along with this what we are going to have is i'm going to uh uh i go to dot env okay dot env yeah it is here 
So here I'm going to create a variable called JWT underscore secret and this is going to be so it can be of anything okay so I'm going to have some number and this is the user profile secret and again some number okay and also I'm going to have a variable called JWT underscore expire because we have to say when this JWT token should expire so I'm going to say 30 D which which means 30 days okay so we can save this so I come back to user profile dot JS and here I'm going to pass the secret as I said the C JWT secret is the main thing because it is maintained in the code as well as it is not exposed to the uh, front end okay so expires in so we are going to configure some options here process dot env dot jwt underscore expire okay so we have set the expire right so let me save this so user profile dot js is saved i think the model we have defined the methods and we have saved it so now i go to uh what the controller function okay so i go to auth.js and here before we pass what the user to the response so i'm going to create a token here so it is const token equal to as i already said methods have control over the instance of the model okay uh, call that methods with the help of this instance only okay so user dot the method name is get jwt token right so the method is called here and i'm going to pass a token along with the data right so token so instead of data user i'm going to pass the token as token because as i already said to you we should not expose the user information to the front end as it is easy for the hackers to steal the user information okay so we are sending the token here so token right so i save it so let us check whether this works or not right so i go to the mongodb so i delete this so we can have this we can send uh, another data okay uh, different data so this is going to be apu and 9876154231 okay and role is going to be super admin right so role is going to be super admin password is going to be uh, okay shakti 4345 right so i'm going to call this api now let us check whether it got created i mean the token gets created right so when i click on send okay we got 500 internal status here uh, let me check so it says user dot get jwt token is not a function so when i check the controllers we are calling this function okay so i go to the user profile model i think there is a small typo mistake here so i change the function name i save it okay uh, i think the server is running back so let us stop the server once because we have changed something in the models right so i start the restart the server and now i go back here and save it uh, okay once the server restarts we will again save it okay restart it again so i saved it again 
So let me check again. Okay, Click on send. Duplicate key error. So username Appu, I think it got inserted because the methods did not execute, but the user got inserted. So what I do, I delete this uh, data. Okay, uh, it got deleted. Now I go back to the postman and click on send. Let us check. Yeah. So as you can see, it got success and we got we generated a token here. Okay, so I'm going to copy this token, go to jwt.io and paste it here. Right? Perfect. So if you can see now, uh, we have a data called ID and name is Appu. Okay, this is what we sent it uh, in the token. Okay, when we created a token, I go to the user profile.js. So you can check it here. We have two values, ID and name. ID is a uh, thing that got uh, created. Okay, so you can see here, it got created in the MongoDB and name is this dot username, which is Apu, right? Perfect, so it got created. And we have some error here, okay. Uh, yeah, it is a previous error. I think it is uh, fine now because we passed the, uh, I mean, uh, the existing data Apu. Okay, uh, in the model, we define the username as unique. So that's why we got uh, this error, right? I think now it is fine. We got the J, we generated a token and also we verified it. We can see the payload here, the two details that we sent. As payload right so i hope guys this video would have helped you a lot in learning uh, how to create jwt token okay so if you have any doubt you can write a comment or uh, or you can email me directly right so we will see how we can authenticate this token the front end the upcoming videos so uh, so uh, wait for my videos guys uh, keep supporting me thank you we'll see you in the next video bye